Hello world and thanks for joining me. My name is Mohit Desponde. In this course, we'll be building a face recognition artificial intelligence. And what, what this AI is going to do is we're going to train it on a ton of images of, uh, there's this famous data set that we're going to be using, and then we're going to give it images of ourselves, and you're going to see that our AI should be able to differentiate, you know, between whether we're detecting a person in our existing famous Yale data set, or whether we're detecting ourselves. So here's a, a screenshot that I took of this AI that's correctly detecting uh, who I am, and it's detecting, it's drawing a bounding box around my face. And so you'll be building and training this AI you know, in this course. And so kind of the big topics that we're going to be discussing in this course center around this concept of dimensionality reduction, at least for the first two face recognition techniques we'll be looking at, eigenfaces and fisher faces, are kind of dimensionality reduction. So I'm going to discuss more uh, what dimensionality reduction is. It's not as scary as it sounds, trust me. And we'll be building you know, our AI using two different techniques, eigenface, fisher faces, and then we'll learn of a third technique, which is actually different from the previous two in kind of a fundamental way, but we'll see that it's actually more accurate in most cases than eigenfaces or fisher faces, and that's called local binary patterns. And so we're going to see that that's going to be more accurate than eigenfaces or fisher faces in most cases. And one, the last thing that I want to discuss is the Yale face database. And so this is kind of a famous, this along with uh, the AT&T face database are kind of the two uh, big databases. They have lots of people's faces. And so this is actually what we're going to be uh, training our, training our data on. It's not so big that training is going to take a long time but it's also not so small that we're going to get bad results. And so we're, this is going to be super awesome. And I'm going, to tell, I'm going to show you how you can take pictures of your own face and put it into this uh, database so that our AI can also learn, uh, our AI can also learn who you are from the pictures uh, of your face that we're going to be putting uh, in, in this data set. So we've been making courses uh, since 2012, and we're, we're really excited to have you on board. And so online courses are a great way to learn, and I take a lot of these courses myself. So mostly uh, our courses consist of video lectures that you can watch and rewatch uh, as many times as you want. You can go at your own pace. All of the source code that we uh, go through is downloadable. You can just download a zip file with all the uh, source code. And, and one thing that I, I really recommend is, like, when I'm, when I'm doing this coding stuff, I really recommend that you code along because there's, it, it's much different than watching, it's different than, there's a difference between watching someone code and actually coding for yourself, and so coding along is going to help you learn the, learn the material better. And uh, as a last point, we, we noticed that students who get the most out of these online courses are the same students who make a, kind of like a weekly plan uh, and stick with it based on what your availability and what your learning style is. And remember that these video lectures you can watch and rewatch at any time. So this kind of gives you more flexibility. So at Zenvo, we've taught programming and game development to over 200,000 students, over 50 plus courses since 2012. And, and many of these students have used the skills that they've learned to advance their own careers. They've Some students have started up their own companies, and they've published their own apps uh, and games. So thanks for joining, and I look forward to seeing all the cool stuff you'll be building. Now, without further ado, let's get started.